Yeah, hello, Glenn and Lou. Winds seem to be picking up a bit here in La Cañada, Flint Ridge. That is certainly not a good thing for the firefight. We are standing along Angeles Crest Highway in the southwestern portion of the Bobcat Fire. Crews are focusing on this area as well as the northeastern section today. They're conducting what's called strategic firing operations north of Mount Wilson to burn off more of that dry brush and deplete the fuel supply for this blaze. All right, take a look at this now. This just came out a short time ago from LA County Supervisor Katherine Barger. She tweets, quote, I'm sad to share that 90% of Devil's Punch Bowl has burned from the Bobcat Fire. The Nature Center and significant plant life and fauna across its 1,350 acres have been lost. My office is working with LA County Parks to see how we can rebuild and restore this beloved land. The massive bobcat fire continues to burn in the Angeles National Forest through steep, rugged terrain, but also threatening communities and neighborhoods surrounding the forest, already destroying several homes and buildings in the northern section, such as in Juniper Hills and Devil's Punch Bowl, as we just mentioned. Many foothill communities on all sides of the blaze have been under evacuation orders or warnings or alerts. The fire's scope is now more than 109,000 acres with 17% containment. Flames erupted on Sunday, September 6th above Azusa, and the cause is still under investigation. The ground and air assaults have been virtually nonstop for 17 days now. This and similar disasters are taking tolls on people's properties, minds, and bodies. I have uh, respiratory issues that I wouldn't have normally. And, uh, you know, and I went to see my daughter in Simi Valley the other day. It's unbelievable out there. You can barely even see the sun, even in the middle of the day. It's like this tiny little orange dot in the sky. And my granddaughter said to me, she, she says, you know, I can hide in these shelves when the apocalypse comes. <laughs> she actually said that. Pretty startling, isn't it? And that little girl is only nine years old. All right, take a look at the fire map. Evacuations were issued for Colby Ranch and Hidden Springs recently. That's in the western region of this fire. Crews there are trying to protect and prepare structures and extend the fire lines. We'll have complete coverage throughout the day and throughout the night. For now, reporting live in La Cañada, Flintridge, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.